Our guest today is uh, Marion Boswell. I'm a landscape architect and garden designer. So I would like to sort of really talk about three main things. Creating personal paradise. So this kind of sanctuary that we all have inside us. Taking time to connect with nature. And finally looking after the earth. So you're probably all familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but they basically describe our needs and also our relationship with the land. As gardeners, as garden designers, we can look after the green spaces we already have, plant trees, create habitat, cool urban spaces, clean air, lock up carbon. We can use reclaimed materials, save water, plant for pollinators and birds. So by looking after our own outside area sustainably, we can impact our environment and we can leave that little extra messy bit in the garden. Now, I like this theory because I have lots of little extra messy bits in my garden, but that is really somewhere for wildlife to share. So if you're a gardener, you know that gardening is good exercise for the body, but studies you probably read recently have also shown that just 20 minutes outside lowers the stress hormone cortisol just putting our hands in the soil uh, raises serotonin which makes us feel relaxed and happier so whether we're growing food or taking our one hour exercise walking the dog it's good for our bodies and good for our minds it's often or even always not just the things we buy that make us happy it's an emotion or, or a memory that we associate with those things of feeling safe, feeling loved, and feeling that we belong. You're not going to say to the client, um, do you need sanctuary in your life? You know, are you having a tough time? You're just listening to that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. the, the client brief will be, where do you want to put the swimming pool? And how do you, but you're listening all the time to what they really need. So this is a little exercise I often do with clients when I first meet them, because if, as the garden designers amongst us will know, Meeting plants is a bit like speed dating. You need to know an awful lot very quickly. So if you close your eyes or just, just think for a moment, if you think back to your happiest memories outdoors, what were you doing? What could you hear and what could you smell? And who were you with? Just by having that bench under this ancient crab apple, it just again like gives you this wonderful spot of sanctuary connection and stillness and it's that kind of special memory of a safe dreamlike place of love it's something i've always treasured and i try to recreate that in the gardens that i design it's become a sort of inner sanctuary a notion of my inner paradise so really all of that is to say that uh, nature does it best and we can but uh, try to do a little bit